This is Jack with Iconic Adventures. Welcome to Harvest Key, Norwegian Cruise Line's beautiful private island in Belize in the Western Caribbean. Come on in, let's check it out. Welcome to Harvest Key in Belize. This port can handle one ship at a time, which is nice, that cuts down on the crowds. There's a covered walkway from the ship to the island. It's about a five to 10 minute walk. It is covered, so you're in the shade. If that's a long walk for you, you can take a golf cart. Those are available for shuttle purposes. Uh, this is the shuttle drop off right here at this beautiful entrance. There are workers here to help guide you if you need some assistance. Just past the entrance, you've got this beautiful Belize photo op sign. A lot of people take advantage of that for their photo op. Then nearby, we've got an information building. Come here for information about your various excursions. Uh, wave runners, villas, parasailing, uh, any sort of general information. Uh, this building is well staffed for that purpose. Just past the information building, we have some signage to help us find our way. Then we enter a shopping area. This market area is populated with stalls and stores owned by local business owners, selling a wide selection of gifts, handmade crafts, perfumes, rum, and more. The staff working the shops were all friendly and laid back. It's conveniently located on the way to the pool, beach, and everything else. We spent most of our day at and in the huge pool with comfortable lounge chairs and an umbrella for shade as needed. The Harvest Key Bar and Grill, one of the restaurants available on the island. Please note that food and beverages are not complimentary on the island and you can't charge using your cabin key. You must have cash or credit. You can go back to the ship for food and drink. We did. It's not that far of a walk. Uh, the pool is wonderful. You have that swim up bar there next to the restaurant. Uh, there are tables in the pool if you need to put your beverages down on. It's a really huge pool. I'm standing on a bridge with a waterfall taking this video that separates one half of the pool from the other half. You've got a number of benches that are in the pool. Here on the other side there's going to be zero entry for the little ones. Uh, lots and lots of chairs and seating umbrellas around the pool. Uh, the seating and the umbrellas are all complimentary, first come, first serve. You can see some cabanas there in the background. The cabanas are an extra price, uh, but lots and lots of seating, lots and lots of uh, umbrellas to get out of the sun if you need it. Uh, we didn't have any difficulty getting a chair with umbrellas uh, for the whole day. You can see some more of that seating there in the little island in the middle of the pool. Lots of people enjoying the beautiful day. So there's the lighthouse. There are three different zip lines on the island. Here's the Superman zip line going right over the beach area, right over the water. Very cool. Coming straight at the ship. We're going to see the ship here in the background. Um, really large beach area. You can see all the chairs and umbrellas. Again, lots of available chairs and umbrellas here I'm still really in the middle of the day so really doesn't get very crowded really great place to come bring your family uh, bring yourself have a great time there's the Bacardi bar one of the bars on the island beach volleyball another shot of the lighthouse on the zip line the yellow rafts that are out there in the water are anchored so you can jump on them and just kind of relax and hang out, lay down, sit up, just enjoy the waves. Another shot of the big Harvest Key restaurant there. Another shot of the Bacardi bar. Here's the marina. The marina is where you go for the boat related excursions.
Norwegian has about 15 different excursions that actually leave the island via boat, various activities and different places to go. Here on the other side of the island we have a lagoon. The lagoon is primarily for water sports such as kayaking, paddle boarding. Paddle borders there in the back. Just about have the whole lagoon to there themselves. Again, not very crowded at Harvest Key. Really, really nice. You notice with the chairs, the chairs there were empty. One trick is the further that you get away from the ship, the less people there are. So if you're looking to get away from the crowds, just keep on walking a little bit further and the crowds do thin out. But really, it was not crowded anywhere. Here's the launch area. You see the pedal boards and the kayaks. If you've got kids, really nice kids splash area, water slide, spray guns, got some little buckets, and have the giant bucket up on the top. The kids really enjoyed waiting for that big bucket to tip over and dump water on everybody. about to go. I think it's about to go. There it goes. And then unique to Harvest Key is this wildlife experience. This is an opportunity for Belize to show off some of their native species. Good place to cool off. You've got some water misters here. It's mostly in the shade variety of different animals. There's a butterfly house that you can walk into with a few different types of butterflies. Boa constrictor. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Harvest Key, Norwegian Cruise Line's private island in Belize in the Western Caribbean. If you did, please like this video, please comment on this video, please consider subscribing to this channel so we can make more content like this.